Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to do kind of a story time because a few weeks ago I did, well I got chosen to do a modelling shoot in London and I thought I'd just show and tell you about my experience of doing a professional modelling shoot. So yeah, let's get right on into the video. I got an email a few months ago saying that I was chosen to do a modern shoot in London. It's something that I applied for a long time ago but I kind of broke up out and I didn't really expect to get it anyway because I'm not a model, a model. But I got the email saying that they wanted to do a test shoot for me and shoot me in kind of a commercial um, I forget how they describe it, but like commercial and like high street kind of look. So I spoke to one of their directors quite a few, a few times and the photographer and they told me what I had to bring and what date and everything. And then around two weeks later, or maybe three weeks later, we drove up to London in Soho for the shoot. Um, it was, we had to get up quite early because it was an early shoot, it, it was at 11. So we left around 7 I think. And we got there an hour early so then we went and had some lunch. I didn't eat much because I didn't want to like <laughs> put on too much belly before a shoot, you know. But yeah, I wouldn't want to do that anyway. But then... Firstly, when we got to the shoot, we were a bit sceptical because it was like in... When you got to the door, it looked like kind of a flat or a basement of studio kind of style. And we thought, it's a bit odd, but let's just go in. But then when we go downstairs, it was like a really well put out studio. Lots of different uh, rooms with different scenes in them and like nice little seating area tea or lunch and everyone there was super super nice and they had like really good music going on and it was a really nice environment um yeah and they they firstly told me to put out like some forms about what i want to do with the pictures or like, if I were to do modelling professionally, what kind of modelling I'd like to do, and stuff like that. And then after the paperwork, boring stuff, I gave my suitcase of clothes that I bought to the stylist, and the stylist went through them and showed out what she wanted me to wear. And then she was there started it with some of her stuff that she already had. So it, 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 everything that I wore was kind of a mixture of mine and their clothing. Um, I didn't mind that, but I did. I did get a bit anxious when like I saw her go into my suitcase because I'm very, I'm kind of OCD with my suitcase. So everything organised, everything, everything folded, and I kind of saw her just like pulling things that, and like my my heart was kind of like, oh my god. She can never wear my suitcase, but I can say anything because she's a stylist. But anyway, after that, she gave me like a little, um, like a little box with piles of clothing, which were my outfits for the, the day. So I have five different looks, and they were in order from like first to last. And then she said that the first two are going to be inside, the next two are going to be outside, and then we'll end with one inside as well. And luckily it wasn't raining, so I didn't have to go out in the rain. It was actually quite a nice day, so thankfully that was okay. But it was really, really cold. It was freezing. And I had dresses on and I was freezing. But the photo set turned out okay, so it's okay. But yeah, um, and then, so I got changed into my first outfit. My first outfit was a casual look. It was my ripped jeans that are from Jagged and a kind of low cut ruched top from Primark 
and my green Timberland boots. So I got changed into that and it was it was an outfit that I wouldn't have put together but it looked quite nice actually so I might wear that in the future. Um, and then I had to go out and I got my makeup done and my hair done. My hair was naturally curly at the, at the shoot because that's what they asked for. So I washed it the day before and put like some deep in conditioner in it so it had nice big ringlet loops. Um, so I took my hair down for the shoot and then we did very light natural makeup for the first one. And then I met the photographer and she was so nice. She's very polite and very like encouraging. And she she very motivational actually. Like she kind of made me laugh a lot to make, to make sure that I was looking good. And would kind of like pose me in a different position. And be like, stay there for one second. And then take a picture and then be like, okay, and now I'm moving pick your hair or something, which you was really good at directing me what to do, which I thought would be, that was the scary part for me, because I thought I'd go in there and they kind of expect me to know how to pose, and like, I, I do know for some poses, but I'm not a model, so I didn't know how to like properly work the camera, but she was really good with instructing me and like telling me how to pose, and it was actually really fun, so I really enjoyed it. So that was the first look, and I'll show you a picture of what it looked like. I actually quite like this look. I think mean, I look quite young in this look, but I look very youthful and like happy, and I think it's a nice picture. Um, and again, if you want to see the rest of my pictures, they're going to be on my Instagram. It's so a link down below, and it is at tegan.vincent.cook. So yeah, if you want to see the rest. Go check them out there. The next look was actually my favourite look and I love these pictures so much. I feel like this look was a very mature adult kind of look. Um, I wore all of my own clothing except for the shoes. The shoes were bad. And at first I hated the shoes because I don't like wearing open toe shoes. But I have to because it's what they style me in. And I had I bought shoes to match and they were not matching shoes but they still look good so fair enough. But this look was a high neck Chinese style dress that was quite short. It had slits, slits in the legs and it had a, a cut out like boob area. One thing that I didn't think about, I didn't think about what bra I would wear with this dress because when I tried it on before I had a bralette on which kind of was low cut so it gave me support but it didn't show. I didn't bring that bralette so I couldn't wear a normal bra because it showed through the cut, the cut up. So I ended up just not wearing any bra which was a bit, a bit weird. I mean, I, I normally do it with bras anyway, but then to do it like I'd I shoot it a bit like, um, yeah. But anyway, the picture is out really good. And this was the first one that was outside, and for this one I have my hair half up in the bun, and they give me these really really dramatic earrings that I actually love, and it really added to the look. And I think in this look, I looked really mature and like sexy and sophisticated. And we were out on the street and we were doing like pictures in the middle of the road on the pavement. And then there was like this nice black and white check background that we did some on. And at one point, because I was out in public, everyone was like walking past me and looking at me and like. I was getting quite nervous because I was like, oh my god, like, I didn't usually do this. At one point I was laughing because there was a guy, I was out, I was outside like a coffee shop and there was a guy sat in the window and I could see that he was like looking at me and kind of like just watching it and then we caught eye contact and then he started like hysterically laughing and ran off and then I started laughing because I was like, that is just so funny. 
because he was watching for so long and then we like accidentally caught eye contact and he just like left. But it was it was really, it was really funny. It was really funny. Um, and then I got changed into the next look, which is my favorite look. No, actually, it's like one of my favorite looks. But I didn't like my hair in this one. I felt like the the hairstylist didn't really know how to style my curly hair. So she did the best that she she could, but it could have been. A lot neater, a lot like tidier. I basically had two buns, like two low buns, but they were uneven and not the same size, which gave <laughs> me like really bad like anxiety. So I was like, I can't look straight on because they're not even, so it's just a weird. So I have to always look from one angle so that they look the same. But the pictures are out quite nice actually, and these are more like for fun pictures. And we are in like a cobble street, and they're putting against the wall and against like the pillars and stuff. And it was different, yeah, it was really fun. I remember what one guy, he was like really rock and roll, and when I walked, he walked past me and saw that we were doing pictures, and he was like, Rock on! And then we all started laughing because I was like, okay, that's a bit weird, but at least I don't get I'm like supporting people. But yeah, it was just so fun and I enjoyed it so much. But yeah, I do want to share my experience of doing like an actual professional model shoot. It, I thought it was going to be really scary and they were going to be really good judgmental and like very harsh and like shouty. But they really weren't. It was really nice. It was a nice environment. Everyone was really supportive. And we were talking to people between the shoots and like, it was just so, so fun. So if you ever get the opportunity to do a shoot in any way, just go for it. Even, even if you don't have like, experience, I definitely don't have experience. But it's something that I like to do and I enjoy doing. Um, yeah, I definitely do it again. It was so fun. And I love all the pictures that were taken, so it's a win-win situation because they get pictures of me and I get pictures of me for you guys, so win-win situation. And to be honest, I probably needed some professional photos because I take all, all my photos myself and none of like good high quality photos. So those ones were definitely needed, but yeah. I just enjoyed it so much and it was so fun. So, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You can d d subscribe by clicking my face, which is either here or here. And then go watch my next video as well. Woo! See ya!